Hello, I'm Pro Tipster Paddy, and welcome to my series on Asian handicap betting. So, uh, as some of you will know, I made a video a couple of days ago, uh, it was released four days ago now, about Asian handicap betting. I explained it all, gave some examples, and I also revealed a strategy. If you'd like to have a look at that video, I'll leave it as the first comment underneath this video, and it'll be in the description as well. So look, what I've been doing is using the Asian handicap line given to us by bookies, and I have certain criteria for picking matches. If we go with a home favourite, they have to be priced between 1.4 and 1.7, and then we take them on the Asian handicap market. Or, if it's an away favourite, they must be priced between 1.7 and 2.2, and the same thing, then we take them as well on the Asian handicap line. So look, the weekend is pretty much upon us now, it's Friday, and I've picked uh, 21 matches for the weekend, so there's loads here, and so I'm gonna run through some of them very quickly on protipster.com. So uh, here's my profile on Protipster, well it's my strategy profile uh, i'll put a link i'll put a link beneath the video so you can all uh, follow these games and delve a bit more deeply into them uh, so we'll just fly through them most of them are at home uh, bronby are at home to norgeland uh, inter milan are at home to atalanta uh, union santa fe are playing cha chara charaita charachita I don't know how to say it, Charlie, the juniors. Now, you'll see some of these ones are, they need to win by two or more stakes returned uh, if they win by one. So this means that they have to win 2-0, 3-1, 4-2, etc. Uh, if they only win by one goal, we'll get our stake back. So if it's a draw, the bet will lose. And if the home team loses, then they'll obviously lose as well. The bet will lose as well. Atletico, Mineiro are at home to Coritiba. Uh, Frosinone, Frost, Frosinone, Frosinone, Frosinone Calcio are at home to Avellino. Italian football teams have lovely names, don't they? Um, here's our first away one then. Sheffield United are away to Burton Albion. Monaco are away to Amien. Empoli are at home to Cesena. Foggia are at home to Ternana. Uh, Parma are at home to Ascoli. A lot of Serie B tips here were coming up. Uh, in the criteria, um, your reminder of those criteria: the home team must be priced between 1.4, 1.7, or the away favourite must be priced between 1.7 and 2.2. Back to the matches then. So Wolfsburg are hosting Freiburg. Liverpool are at home to Southampton. Uh, West Brom take on Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea are the favourite here. They have to win by two. So as explained earlier, they have to win by two goals. If they win by one goal, we get our stake back. If it's a draw we lose and if West Brom win uh, we obviously lose as well but sure that's probably not going to happen but you never know it's football nothing can happen Wolves uh, Wolves are away to Reading uh, Napoli are at home to AC Milan uh, Juventus are the away favourite against Sampdoria they also have to win by two uh, Schalke are at home to Hamburg Rio Vallecano are hosting Barcelona B uh, Stuttgart and Dortmund Dortmund are the away favourite here Lyon are playing Montpellier Home team favourite and Fenerbahce are the home favourite against Sivaspor. So down at the bottom of the page you'll see my uh, results. Uh, Italy let me down with the first bet. They couldn't get a goal past Sweden. If they'd have got one goal we'd have got our stake back. And it was the same with Cruzario versus Avi. It was a frustrating match to watch. Um, Avi scored an equaliser in the 93rd, 94th minute, something like that. So I was pulling my hair out at the end, I really was. But look, the great thing is here on Pro Tips, so we can test these strategies without actually without actually uh, losing any money on losing bets. Yeah, so I'm going to do this for 30 days. This is day four now. Um, 21 tips for this weekend. That'll, that'll bring me up to 23 tips. Uh, look, it's, it's it's fascinating. It's really interesting finding these teams. Hopefully, we're on to a winning strategy here. We haven't had a good start. But then again, if it, if it works against us and uh, and we don't, well, then we'll have uh, trading opportunities on betting exchanges, you know, things like Matchbook, Betfair, things like that. Okay, that's it then. So, look, I know it's a pretty short video, but I just wanted to run through some of the tips. Now, obviously, I'm not putting any money on these. I'm using the Pro Tips, their website, to log these bets in a strategy and after 30 days we're going to see uh, you know if it's a winning strategy and I'm sure if it's not maybe that's even better because then if you're a trader you can bet against uh, these uh, you can bet against these tips you know um, 
So look, this is day four now. Um, we've had two tips so far that didn't win. Italy let me down on the first one. Cruzario, they allowed an equaliser in the 95th minute, I think, where we could have got our stake back. So it looks worse than it is. But hopefully, now come Sunday evening, we'll have a, a nice healthy uh, yield or hit rate. And sure, if we don't, like I said a couple of minutes ago, if we don't and we see that it's going against us, well, then maybe you can look at uh, trading opportunities. Yes, yeah, so look, uh, let's see how it goes. There's a long way to go. This is only day number four. This will bring us up to 567. So we'll have done it uh, nearly a week. I'm really enjoying these, putting them together and doing the research for them. And hopefully we'll find a winning strategy that we can share for you here on Pro Tips. So look, make sure and check out protipster.com where you can earn real money by sharing your winning betting football tip. Make sure and hit that red subscribe button beneath the video and you'll get daily tips videos, previews and regular podcasts as well. We're also on Instagram too, Pro Tipster Global, so check us out there as well. Okay, I'll be back to you then in a couple of days time with more Asian handicap strategy bets. Take it easy then. Good luck. Mm-hmm.